Hey again, YouTube. What's up? So, we already went over uh, the importance of wig caps, how to put a wig cap on, and how to put on a wig. So, um, I asked around on my Facebook page, and uh, somebody mentioned that I should probably also go over how to store wigs. And, um, so that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, you probably saw me with this blue wig in the last video. What I do is, um, this actually came with another wig, which I'll show you. But what I did was, um, what I do with this short one is, uh, when I have it open, I fold it in half. So this is when it's open. And then I fold it in half, trying to make sure it's like symmetrical. Now, when you have the bangs styled, you don't want to put it in a bag, but given the fact that this has already styled and is already cut and is already colored, this is okay. And it, the packaging has to be a little bigger than the wig, so what I do is I grab it from the end up here, the top, and just push it in using my hand, then grab it from the outside and pull my hand out. Then what I do after that is just try to curve the rest of the wig and push it downward and just snap it and you got a wig a little wig container thingamajig now for longer wigs um you'll if you get them online they'll come in like this long packaging and then they'll be folded up now what you want to do is you want to take it out, unfold it, and actually comb it out in case the folding's too rough and it actually made the wig bend. Um, I already uh, had this one cut and sort of styled. Uh, one of my friends helped me cut it. Anyway, um, since it's a longer wig, what she told me to do is put a ponytail on it. This is my Rainbow Dash wig. I also cosplay Rainbow Dash for Geek Fest. Um, you can still see the clips are in there. I had to clip the sides because the bangs were too long. So what she told me was to put it on a ponytail. And you can tell that this long packaging, which it came in, already got folded. What you want to do is you want to store it flat like this. Or at least that's the way I do it with mine. And so far, it's so good. Uh, you can tell the bangs are a little ruffled. That's just because of the wear when I was wearing it. Because I was like head banging and moving my head around and had a fun time at the con basically. And you just lay it flat and you do the same thing. You grab it from the, the top and you just pull it all the way through with your hand. Then you grab the plastic like I did with the last one and you pull your hand out. Now for this one, remember that box packaging I had with the blue wig? Well, it actually was used to store this 40 inch long behemoth of a wig which I'm going to cut in style from my original OC and you can tell that it's braided I asked around, it's always good to ask your other cosplaying friends what to do for advice I asked around and uh, I told her I was using 40 inch long and I was going to cut it eventually so she said to um, to braid it until further notice. I don't know how to braid, so I actually had to ask my mom how to braid. We had kind of a moment because she doesn't really like cosplay, but she still showed me how to braid. So we have it braided for now, and I'm going to cut it like around mid-length. I'll, I'll try to do a video on either after or during or before I actually cut this thing so I could show people how to style wigs, because that will be my first wig styling. Now, this is what happens when you don't store it. This is like the worst, worst case scenario. This is my example wig. This used to be a long white wig, about as long as the red one I just showed you. But I tried coloring it like a certain way, and then I tried cutting it. And I like halfway through cutting it, um, I took it to a friend's house, and they straightened the longer half, which I was going to eventually cut. But I am going to fix this thing, so prepare your eyes. This is what happens when you don't store a wig properly. It doesn't look that bad. Okay, now it looks bad. 
uh, you could tell where she straightened it, and but you could also tell where we didn't straighten it and where it has to be combed. Um, originally it was like white, but then we dyed it for a s panty stocking cosplay. I was knee socks. My other friend was, um, my other friend was scanty, the demon sisters. Uh, anyway, you can tell how bad it is. And usually, uh, the wig itself will get knotted and messed up, especially if you store it in a cramped place. So if you don't store it in like a plastic unit or a head, I didn't go over heads, did I? No. So with longer wigs, you also want to put them on a head. But sometimes it doesn't need to be a head with a face. There's also heads where it's just like the framing, like plastic framing of a of a circular head without a face, those ones work too. If like you have grandparents that have wigs and have other things like that. Um, it's always good to ask around when you're dealing with wig storage, but um, if you've looked and you've looked and you had nothing to do, well this video I hope helped. Until then, uh, see you later and have fun cosplaying. Bye.